Johan Ulfgang von Gatte, Johan Ulfgang von Gatte, born on 28 August 1749 and died on 22 March 1832. That means he died aged 82. Gatte was a German poet, playwright, novelist, scientist, statesman, theater director, and critic. His works include plays, poetry, literature, and aesthetic criticism as well as treatises on botany, anatomy, and color. He is widely regarded as the greatest and most influential writer in the German language. His work has a profound and wide-ranging influence on Western literary, political, and philosophical thought from the late 18th century to the present day. Gatte took a precedence in Weimar in November 1775 following the success of his first novel, The Sorrows of Young Wardar, published in 1774. He was ennobled by the Duke of Saxe Weimar, Karl August, in 1782. Gatte was an early participant in the Sturm and, and Drang literary movement. During his first 10 years in Weimar, Gatte became a member of the Duke's Privy Council from 1776 to 1785, sat on the old and highway commissions, oversaw the reopening of the of silver mines in nearby Iminau, and implemented a series of administrative reforms at the University of Jena. He also contributed to the planning of Weimar's botanical park and the rebuilding of its ducal palace. Gatte's first major scientific work, The Metamorphosis of Plants, was published after he returned from a 1788 tour of Italy. In 1791, he was made managing director of the theater at Weimar, and in 1794, he began a friendship with the dramatist, historian, and philosopher Friedrich Schiller, whose plays he premiered until Schiller's death in 1805. During this period, Goethe published his second novel, Wilhelm Mister's Apprenticeship, the verse epic Hermann and Dorothea. And in 1808, the first part of his most celebrated drama, Faust. His conversations and various shared undertakings throughout the 1790s with Schiller, Johann Gottlieb Fichte, Johann Gott Gottfried Harder, Alexander von Humboldt, Wilhelm von Humboldt, and August and Friedrich Schlegel have come to be collectively termed Weimar, Weimar classicism. The German philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer named Wilhelm Bister's apprenticeship one of the four greatest novels ever written, while the American philosopher and essayist Ralph Waldo Emerson selected Goethe as one of six representative men in his work of the same name along with Plato, Emanuel Swedenborg, Montaigne, Napoleon, and Shakespeare. Goethe's remarks, comments, and observations form the basis of several biographical works, notably Johann P Peter Ikerman's Conversations with Goethe, published in 1836. His poems are set to music by many composers, including Mozart, Beethoven, Schubert, Berlioz, Liszt, Wagner, and Mahler. And that's all in brief about the greatest German literary figure, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.